Stronghold. Impressive. Let's go. Right to awaken me. <laughs> The Madman! Today in Arena, we just played with Paladin, and we don't want to choose Warlock because we like that hero power. So, Mummy Furion. Let's go. Hero power. Ooh. Druid Demon Hunter. The brothers team up in epic collaboration. So let's see. Oh, we got an epic card offered. So do I want three mana, three, four, or do I want one mana, two, one, add two, one? You know, I'm just gonna like, trust the data here. But the three drop is really tempting. Three mana, three, four is like cool. Uh, Troll Batrider is good. Starfire seems reasonable. There's a little horror versus big ol' wealth. This one's a tougher choice, I think, than the Blowtorch man. In theory, the more Urzul Horrors I pick, the better Urzul Horrors, because the more uh, aggressive I get. But Big Ol' Wolf is a substantially better card, I think. Uh, Power of the Wild, sure. Finch Clan Hog. Lightmaster, 3 mana, 3 4. Good card for Urzul Horror to trade into. Steward of Scrolls looks pretty good. I got the better hero power for Panthara. Chaos Nova has a lot of variance to it. That actually says 61% to 41%. I actually think this is a very tough pick. Could be any pick. I think this is going to be a very, very close Panthara for me. Uh, these cards are all bad. I believe the least bad will be Tink Master. I guess it's a pretty easy choice when you really think about it. Ooh, Scorpid versus Flyer. Fishy Flyer is one of the most impressive, one of the cards that has impressed me the most in Arena. But Scorpid, I always knew would be good and has continued to be good. Easy Val Fiend over Trash. Ooh, Mara Slicer. Nice Vapid. Ooh, Twin Tyrant. Hello. Ooh, Plague Proto Drake. Hello. Pretty insane. Aug Merchant is good. Dalaran Crusader is really good too. I don't believe in the see Og Merchant, take Og Merchant school of thought. I don't think anything of mine getting rushed is that big a deal. We're halfway in the draft and I have five small cards. You know, that's really the criteria for Crusader. Well, there's another Proto Drake. Card just wins games when you uh, play him, unless you're about to die. Rusty Drader is good. If your hero attack this turn, gain plus one attack and rush. Ooh. Two mana deal five. I'm kind of feeling that Felfin. Tough choice. Augsteed. Skystalker. Pretty insane card. I don't think it's ever hidden Oasis here. So it's Chaos Nova or Savage Roar. Right now I'd qualify my deck as a mid-range deck. I think most dual class arenas tend out to turn out to be mid-range decks. If I'm ahead, do I really need to get further ahead? Maybe not, because if I'm ahead and then I drop Plague Proto Drake or Twin Tyrant, I win the game. So maybe I should only uh, buy insurance and then sometimes I'll be behind and then I can drop the big Chaos Nova on them. I think you only pick Savage Roar if you have like a really solid 1-drop, 3-drop opening. And I don't really have a 1-drop, 3-drop opening. I'm gonna go Chaos Nova here. Let's see, Crimson Sigil, Strength in Numbers. Spend 10 mana on minions, reward summon a minion from your deck. I think the numbers actually uh, pulls pretty well. There are some uh, high rolls here. I'm gonna go with strength and numbers. It's dig day. Ooh, Twilight Runner. Now that's a card. Uh, could use more three mana cards. Fishy Flyer, excellent card. I like Power of the Wild more than Savage Roar. If you're ahead, you'd rather Power of the Wild. I mean, you'd rather Savage Road. Power of the Wild is a nice, uh, you know, half option. Uh, Evil Cable Rat over Doubling Spells. Doubling Spells pretty irrelevant in this deck. How many uh, dragons do I have in this deck? It's actually a big amount, I think. Five dragons. Scale Rider becomes a pretty good three drop with five dragons. And final pick. 
Voracious Reader, I think, doesn't fit this deck very well. I've got some big cards. Uh, Chaos Soul Split's pretty bad, so it's Dwarven Archaeologist, 2 mana, 2 3. It's a mid range deck with high quality cards. It's about the level of quality that I've come to expect in dual class arena. I think it's a little bit better than usual, uh, given that I have the two Plague Proto Drakes at the top end. I've got some really sharp cards like Twilight Runner and Steward of Scrolls and Big Ol' Welp on five. I got the, you know, the classic good four drops, Scorpid, Flyer, Marrow Slicer, Bat Rider. Just really solid overall. Uh, and I have the Demon Hunter Hero Power. So I expect pretty good things from this brother pairing. I may be underestimating it just because I haven't had the opportunity to play with Plague Proto Drake that much, but Plague Proto Drake is quite good. This is a little bit awkward because I don't necessarily want to play Power of the Weld into Flight Master. Uh, that means that the opponent gets to have a 2 2 that trades with my 3 2. So I kept Flight Master and Evil Cable Rat because if my Power of the Weld does not manage to trade, I will probably play Evil Cable Rat on turn 3. There was a choice to be made there between just playing the Furious Felfin out and possibly keeping that for the plus one plus one value. But now this is better as the Rushy boy. Strong turn. 3 4, strong against 3 3. Hey, look, it's the. Uh, this is Storm Rage Brothers against Tarande. My beloved, I will save you from yourself. The flavor. Hop on. We're going for a ride. For the wild. Ah. The sky is ours. Don't see much benefit to hitting one of those griffins. Two Bone Shewer Vanguards in the hand eventually. Spooky. You don't pick the one, I think I'm obligated to hero power this thing. Don't have a good follow up to that. I think I will hero power that and just. Uh... Not have the best mana usage this turn. For the wilds. The sky is Gotta be prepared for turn 7. There's like almost always going to be a 4-10 on that turn. This is 7 burst damage. So if I have 3 on the board, we can deal with that. Divine Shield will be pretty impressive against the uh, 7 drop. This is a turn where I must set up for that. I think I definitely want to have Dalaran Crusader on the board. And if I trade this off, that's value for me. Guess I'll play this. Right now, Boneshore Vanguard isn't a great play. The goal will be to... Continue to have Bone Chewer Vanguard not be a great play for a while. Yeah. 
Four, seven, ten. We will hold the black temple. Five, nine. We want to trade with ex as much exact damage as possible. We also want to do damage to face. So hitting with this is quite good. All right. I think I'll do four plus six plus four. For the wild. For maximum face damage. I'm up against another ten health minion. I have five plus five. We have three, five, seven, eight or something. Five, six, seven. I'm doing as much damage as I can. Stop a potential tap, maybe? I feel like if they tap, they're desperate. This is really close. Ugh. Ground. We will hold the black temple. Get these off of me. Dig, dig, dig. For the wild. By moon and spear. Forever. Hmm. Look what I found. They're not trapped. They're my friends. Very annoying. No! This priest is the master of annoyance. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Let's see, there are a lot of better two drops I can draw. Archaeologist, Rat, Felfin, Vile Fiend, Power of the Wild, Power of the Wild, 6. Urzul Horror, Strength and Numbers are both better draws also. I think I mulligan Hogsteed when I'm going first with this deck. This and this could be pretty spicy. Nah, that's, that's dumb. It would have to be really specific to get that outcome. Normally I would just instantly trade with this into that, but the next turn might be up against two two ones. Two one ones. Nah, that's silly. The thought is it might be a good idea to trade this one in because I can play the two one immediately and be a little bit more mana efficient. I think it's close between playing the second one of these and spending the one mana ahead of time and just taking the two damage on this while I can take two damage. But you're given an advance notice that the opponent has two 1-1s in the hand, so you can, you know, stuff with 
Small amounts of health is kind of useful. Small amount of health, that isn't one. Let me tell you that story. Fireball ready! I imagine most games where I play Twilight Run around 5, I'm going to win. This is a good card. I was about to like order draw the card, but I draw more cards with this thing. What a ridiculous card. Well, imagine it's um, the explosive trap and attacking twice with this is just great value already. Hmm. You got me! I'm so rich. Well played. Well played. What a day. I will crush your delusions of grandeur. I'm rich. Rich, I tells ya. Does that change anything? The 4 into that is really good. The 2 is mana efficient. 4 2 2 it is still. Value overflows. <laughs> All right, learn Draconic. We're almost there on turn nine. Will we ever get there? Hehe, <laughs> Allah. Eight nine eleven fourteen fifteen twenty twenty one eight nine eleven fourteen fifteen twenty twenty one. countering the reinforce of my hero power. Oh, look at that. It's Jaina plus Arthas. The lovebirds versus the brothers. Uh-oh, you're falling behind on tempo, lovebirds. It's actually pretty scary. It's like, at this point, has the opponent already lost? If you're going second and you pass on turn two, basically just hero power. 
And I got my, you know, turn two, three, five off. You are already dead. Next turn, I basically am ahead by six mana because this card counts as a four mana card. Next turn. Mm, good catch up, kind of. Nice card. I was thinking about Hogsteed Power. Which one is better? What to do? This Power of the Wild is looking like it'll be a 2 mana 4-4 four, four charge, perhaps. Next turn, Steed, Power, Hero Power. Oh my god. Combustion placement. Okay, in case it's Flame Ward, I really want to get the Power of the Wild up right now. get my uh, one mana discount on Discover. Valley, Valley. So this is the effect of skipping turn two. The opponent has a turn here, but if I'm counting this as a three mana card, this is a three mana card, and this is a two mana card, I'm ahead by eight mana right now. They've got five mana to try to catch up to the eight mana board. And they're feeling the pressure. It's the snowball effect of not being able to deal with a, uh, not doing a two drop. This is actually close. What's better, star firing that or saving the star fire for the face? I think saving for the face is good. I'll play the Twilight Runner, hit him. They can't remove all this, probably. Next turn, Twilight Runner hits his face. Star fire finish. The star fire on the 5 5 looks great, but when the opponent's this low, star fire on the face looks pretty good too. Looks like I'm here just in time. Do I still have lethal? Assuming he kills the 4-4, four, four, have 5, 8, 11, 16. Hero power, 17. It's a rematch of match one. All right, Tarande. This time, you will be mine, and not Gul'dan's. It's a much better hand. Mm, Tempo Og Merchant. That's unfortunate for you because I wasn't gonna play anything on turn one, anyways. A mistake. Hmm. Happy Hollows End. I don't qualify this as a misplay. It's a play I personally wouldn't make. But I don't think it's a misplay. It's a very aggressive tempo play against, you know, the one mana hero power. But it's not necessarily a misplay. Also, I think tap is just better than thought steal there. Uh-oh. Can't afford to slow down like that. So I'm the player going second, which is, uh, probably a downside. But now, I've become the first player by, you know, having initiative now. I'll put it on this. Coin six drop. The sky is ours. Oh. 
Okay, strength in numbers. Decent here. Hench clan power, hero power. Hench clan power, hero power, I guess. Uh, seems weak. Oh, I'll play Panther. Yeah, it's fine. It's not great because I don't really want to send the 2 1 in to the 1 2. No, I don't have to. Oh, yes, I do. I don't have to, but it's a good idea. So. It's not the perfect trade on power, but good enough. One bad trade, one good trade. Twilight Runner on the board. Oof, but fortunately Twilight Runner survives. I think I want to kill this. 4-3-1 is the plan. Decent card to shovel. Unless I have lethal. I don't have it, do I? 3, 6, 8, 11, 13, 18, um, 23, 24. I'm 5 off. That's actually pretty close. Dig. Three, five, six, seven, twelve. Still not lethal. Do I want to take nine damage? Probably not. I don't think I want to play Twin Tyrant right now. It's got two lackeys. Actually, maybe I just play Twin Tyrant right now. Oh, that's such a waste of a Twin Tyrant. Just that I didn't like any other play. My other play I was considering was playing this trade and then play the Tink Master over Spark and then hope to hit the 2 1 or the 3 3 into a 5 5. Hmm. Iffy. That should upgrade. Do I have lethal? Oh. Five, nine, twelve, yes. Oh, Chaos Nova could have been Savage Roar. Would have been better last game, but who knows. Okay, Bat Rider's a really good 4-drop, but I have 4 good 4-drops. I think it's really important to start with a 2-drop. Uh, I think I keep the 3-drop. I don't have that many 3s, so it's pretty fortunate that I've gotten 3s all until now. I think I will keep the 3, go for a 2, mulligan the good 4, because I want that 2 so badly. Oh, well, that's a good hand. That's a hand. Even better, uh, I had been thinking there was some very minor synergy between Urzul Har and Flightmaster, in that the 2 1 is an excellent card to kill the 2 2 with.
Unfortunately, the 2 3 is an excellent card to kill the 2 2 with, but what can you do? Flight Master of Value? Something, something. If you do the right trade, sometimes Flight Master can be a 3 mana 5 6. Hmm. Hate not hero powering that thing, but. I will. That 5 2 is currently aiming at the 5 5 for sure. So I guess we'll wound this to 1 health. He might have a weakness to 1 health minions. Or I mean, he might have an inability to deal 1 damage. Nice. Alright, it's time for Tink Master Free Roll. How exciting. On average, this is going to be set to a 3-3, three, three. so this is, on average, a 5-5 five, five play. Womp womp. I'll save the ethereal lackey because I'm not sure what I'm trying to discover yet. In this case, it was just a 3 mana 3-3, three, three, but it averaged out to a 3 mana 5-5. Five, five. Blessing of the Ancients, that's fairly good. I like it. Blessing, power, hero power. Hmm, decision time. Trade or value trade? One's better against AoE. If you always have a drop and a 9 drop, a value trade. You just drew a spell, only reason why I hesitate. Hmm, tempo. I know he has a 6 mana 4 6 taunt in the hand. Not four mana, six mana, four six. No, I said that right the first time. Ah, gross. I am disgust. I don't want to dig, dig into the two two, but, mm, but I will. And belch it all out. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, that's not a good trade for me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, he had uh, three really good answers to me. Hellfire, well, four. Another breath, Hellfire, Polymorph, and Shadow Flame. What can you do? Wah. The best I can do is cry. Will my cries be heard? They weren't heard. It's a good one, two, three, four. I wonder 
I've been thinking this whole time that the rope has been counting down. Do I lead off with the 3-2 or the 2-3? And the answer is the 3-2 because I'll need to trade the 2-3 into a 2-2. Two -two. Pretty precise. So basically this guy tackles the 2-drop so I can play this 2-drop, which won't get tackled. And then I play the Flight Master for the Dwarven Archaeologist to trade into. Basically played itself. A charming composition. I'll probably be playing Fishy Flyer to kill the 4 4. Eh, I don't know how he's gonna trade actually. Oh! I think the faster I play Twilight Runner, the better. Before Flame Strike is possible, basically. And before Twin Tyrant hits the field. So I'm going to have three draws towards a dragon. Three draws is drawing one-seventh of the deck. But that certainly doesn't mean my odds of getting a dragon are one-seventh. I should get better at napkin mathing without needing a calculator. Seven, seven, seven. Uh, it's about 350 multiplied together. And then six, six, six. 36 times six. Six, three, 18, 21. So 220 over 350. If I round it to 200 over 350, then divide by 50, one minus that, I have a three-sevenths chance of uh, drawing a dragon, hmm. roughly. In random news, I ended up drawing the dragon, which was roughly a 3 sevenths chance of occurring, which is roughly 40%. Classic fake AFK. I've learned this tactic from Among Us. Let's see, do I have lethal? 3, 4, 6, 7, no. That's my only dragon for the skill rider. This has a chance of some lethals. Also, I think I don't want to put the big card out first. That's just sad. I don't know what's best, but I think the other two are pretty bad. Also, I believe this card deals two damage, thanks to spell damage. Looks like 434 is my best. Wait, I can play this for one damage, can't I? If I do zero damage, it rounds up to one. I've, I can't remember. Uh, that would be four plus three is one seven. Plus, it actually doesn't matter here. I think it does deal one damage though. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. With one spell damage, does Savagery deal zero? 
or one damage if your attack is zero. Quiz. I'm seeing so much of my beloved Tarande today. Uh, Twilight Runner is insane. Mirror Slicer is insane. I'll keep. I'll keep the bad two drop going first. All my cards are pretty good, so... What did you mind, Vision? You don't pick the ones. I, anyway. I really don't want the 5-2 to trade into a 3-1. So I believe we keep the 5-2 stealthed here. Hmm. Yeah, this guy's like the, uh... Twilight Runner's bodyguard. Oh my god, he actually got the Chaos Nova. I am disgusted. It's a little early to call the game, but I'm feeling not very good right now. Burly Shovel Fist needs to do some work. Ah, yeah, this is a good card. Perfect card to uh, shovel fist. Well, it might not be in bad shape. That does represent lethal. If power is what you seek, knowledge is what I provide. Eighteen damage. Oh, I win. That was a good battle cry minion to discover. I really like this 4 drop. I'll keep it. Alright, my curve got real good. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
It is actually better to hold on to that card. That's the I'll play it if I have no other plays card. Wait. Interesting. He could have played that turn too, but chose not to. Oh man, Tank Master over Spark High Roll here. Get him! Get him! Yes! This time we live in the better timeline. Now that's some variance. God, he is so far behind now. Oh, please. Please don't snipe arena. No snipe arena, please. Okay. We must stop this corruption. This is 16 damage on the board. It's a lot of damage. If I can kill this, I actually win. This is, uh, let me just add it all together. 3, 8, 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 26. I can deal 26 damage, but I can't do perfect damage to this. I, I would have to rush this thing in. This thing is 5. Oh, it's lethal. Ah! For the I'm for no one. I think this arena run is really demonstrating that if you skip turn two... You're out! I believe I've gone first a lot in this arena. And I think going first is proving to be quite good. Now, in the previous uh, meta, you know, the value-oriented meta, I think there's actually an argument to be made that going second might have been better. I think in value-oriented arena metas, you know, you want to... Oh, that's so sad. But that's a tempo play there. Where was I? This is the stronger play. Shouldn't I play the stronger play right now? I think so. Anyways, when it's a value-oriented meta, I think you can make an argument that going second is better because you get more value, you get a extra card and a coin. Would I rather... My board be a 2 3 and a 3 1, or a 3 5. A 2 3 and a 3 1 is a total of 9 stats. 1 3 5 is a total of 8 stats. So, therefore, this seems better. I mean, it's not as simple of a calculation as that, but I also don't take um, 4 damage. Uh, the opponent doesn't seem to have a one health easy answer, usually. This is an example of where Flight Master is almost like a 3 mana 5 6 because the 2 3 and the 2 1 at this stage in the game are almost the same. Turns out this Chaos Nova would have been significantly better as a uh, Savage Roar. I actually think I wouldn't have lost one of the games if it was a Savage Roar. And on another one of the games where it was close, if it was Savage Roar, it wouldn't have been close. I will crush your delusions of grandeur. 
Oof. Combo. This flight master has been wrecking people. What makes something <laughs> I have a feeling that I know which one he chose here. I was gonna slam down my eight drop. I wonder if there's a better play. No, I think eight drop is correct. Polymorph is really, really good in this meta because Plagued Proto Drake is so good. There's usually like something that's big. I was tempted to lay low because I have that Chaos Nova to catch up, but I can't not play Dig Day, I think. You're scared. I'm very scary. And I can't find the one minute to kill off Jandis for two turns now. My blood will survive. I want it's always six drop, two drop here. What to do? What to do? Okay, maybe it's not always that. I think it's pretty close. say I actually didn't plan for this to be exactly lethal, but good lethal set up me. I'm willing to keep this as just 2 mana 3-2. Ideally I draw a different 2 drop. You count. You do count. Four plus three plus three. Yep. Man, I love bat riding this uh, orc so much. It's a play I do all the time. It's like you want to hero power the three one, but you're out of time. Paladin. I should have removed the cards. Give us the money. Don't try anything. I think I play the card that's hardest to play, which is the six drop. I do this trade to preserve the two two on the board, and 
all the lines are kind of close there. If you were to think in terms of the 2-2 two, two as a Blazing Battle Mage, which is a one mana card, uh, one mana premium removal is like one mana deal three. So I wasted my four damage, which is like the equivalent of two mana. So theoretically the four damage is worth more. But the 2-2 two, two is repeated value over time. So, in short, it's complicated. That was also pretty close. I was about to play Lost Soul and Hero Power. I think it's almost an equivalent play. Never be afraid of your inner power. Now that's value. Discover a spell that costs one or more. Oh my god, from Paladin spells. Nice. Getting this card for other classes sounds so fun. Ugh. Created by Hot Streak. Sweet. Well, sadly, I can't kill both, which means I I can kill both, but it seems bad to kill both. Is it? What? Right, I really want to develop Twilight Runner. So we just do a bunch of ignoring. For the wild. Uh, five, six. Meh. Oh my god, you're so hot, Arthas. That was such a good instructor, Fireheart. It was mainly a question of like, could I get another minion on the board? Uh, so like, I can trade first and then do the full board power. But the way that I did the damage, it was necessary to not hit the last one. It's probably better for me to keep the lost soul in my hand. The Thunder King, masquerading as Anduin. I must protect the wild. Wow, this will be a very interesting keep. I'll keep that. Gale Rider is insane if I have a dragon. Uh, Twin Tyrant is a dragon and is also a really good card, and I have the early game to go with it. So... Cool little uh, open. Has the potential to high roll. One, four, nine. If I manage to cast the Lost Soul, that's ten mana. So my plan is uh, turn four, Scale Rider, Hero Power, turn five, Dalaran, Crusader, get the quest done, and... I have all the big cards in my hand, so <laughs> womp womp. Of course I play this card. Oh my god! 
All right, 10 wins. Finally, we high rolled this thing on an important match. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! no! Wait, imagine losing after that. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, one, three, six. I'm playing Hero of Fire Fury's self in scale rider. So I do a chunk of four damage and chunk of one damage and chunk of two damage. How do I do this? Four plus two. The one damage can't go anywhere useful. Uh, why? Because four, six, nine, eleven deals the eleven damage to clear the board. My six mana two two and four mana three three, huh? All right. Okay. I'm just not sure if it's better or worse to play the three card or the two card. It's gotta be this one. It costs more mana. That's gotta be right. Also, him having a 2-2 two -two is arguably good for me, because I have Twin Tyrant. Another target. Got Burly, Shovel Fist to deal with uh, next six mana five seven. It's a really good answer. I have drained for days. Mm, Shovel Fist into that is also a decent answer. To deal with the three six, I could just kill it. Nah, I want to play Dig Dig. Now the question is, do I want to trade this guy off? I think the answer is yes. I still have a bunch of value. I wince a little bit doing it. My phone's at like full health though. I'm at seven if I hit it. Poke. Better to just do five plus two. And I have so little health that we just trump trade our way to the bottom. Finally, hmm. in my 12th game, I will be able to pull off a one mana discover discount. Nice. I am the storm of your demise. Oof. I think I have to play Bat Rider and I have to play it first. Because I want it to get double power of the wilded. I also want to play Archaeologist. Hmm. Get him! Nice. Definitely expected to leave one of those minions on the board. So that's a very good result for me. A charming composition. For the wild. I have so much fuel. If I can just outlast here. I lose. I lose. 
Jungs. Ah. I don't remember what the other offers were past Forest Aid, but I think I quickly took Forest Aid because they both weren't very good. I sold the Forest and something else. I lost to turn 5 Plagued Proto Drake with my side. That's pretty epic in its own right. Here, have a well played. Starfire? Oh, hmm. Let's see, if I had Starfire, what would I have done on this turn? It would have also been pretty bad. Okay, fine, it was a lot better. But no, I have sticky finger. 